<laughs> Why is the chain that shape there? <laughs> it's a hot one today. It is a hot one. It's always hot here though. Mankara is just, it's just mega hot all the time. It's uh, it's good and it's bad. I don't really like wearing shorts, so I'm wearing jeans all the time and it's too hot. I am rocking the shorts today, because it's that hot. I'm here looking like Sammy Backer. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, so before I get into drawing today, I need to build another like overhead filming situation. I need to make it better, because because I'm still working with this, the GoPro on a selfie stick shoved in a jar. And it's really not the best. No, it's definitely not the best. Could do better. So I'm gonna try and build something a bit better now with just what I've got lying around. Okay, here's my plan. Old armrest. Can use this as a tripod somehow. Attach the GoPro to here on an arm that comes out looking over the drawing. That'll work, won't it? These are the problems that I face living in the middle of nowhere. It's like, I can't just pop to the shops and buy a tripod that will do the same job. Because the closest, the closest camera shop is like a three and a half hour drive away. So I ain't going there. Oh yes, how about that? Fully adjustable overhead filming rig thing. Let's try it out. People do say that it's a very good exercise that if you're right-handed, you should practice using your left hand and that will stimulate your brain. And if you're left-handed, if you practice doing things right-handed, there are areas of the brain called the Broca's and the Wernicke's area where languages are controlled. And specifically that is the, what determines your, your handedness. And so yes, by using your, your right hand, if you're left-handed, you're gonna be stimulating that area. So it would activate some language-related language, language -related, uh, cortex of your brain. So apparently if I, draw with my left hand, my Spanish will get better. It's worth a shot, because my Spanish is terrible. Oh, this feels weird. Oops. Oh, I can't even get this. Ah, yeah, there we go. Okay, this just isn't working at all. Yeah, that's sharp enough. All right, I'm gonna start off with the seed of life. Oh no, yeah. it doesn't even meet up. It's in the wrong place. No, it's not very accurate at all. What am I doing? Uh, left hand, left hand. What are you doing, man? Don't go back to the right. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> My pencil snapped. <laughs> Damn it, now I have to sharpen it again. Oh, what do I do for a left handed pencil sharpener right now? It's a bit skew if. Hey, getting good at that. I don't have any kind of idea in mind. I don't have any direction for this piece. Just gonna see where it goes. I think I'd like to do more circles. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Yes. Nailed it. I'm making it hard for myself here because I'm going to have to do a massive circle freehand. Oh my god. I'm trying to do like a lotus petal. No way. That is dreadful. It's like the worst thing you can try and draw with your left hand, something that's supposed to be symmetrical. <laughs> oh god. It's not bad, it's not bad. How can one side of your body just be so useless? Good God. 
dreadful. I'm so bad at this. Oops. Woohoo. Whoa now. <laughs> Come on. Well, that was a good line. Now I'm going to rub it out and go over it with ink. Oops. Oh, this is better. This is better. This is... Whoa, now. Whoa. <laughs> What the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's hard to just even go slow. I'm trying to go slow, but my hand just takes off. I'm sure when I'm doing it with my right hand, I have it resting on the paper. It's not like floating in the air. That was a good one. Oh yes. I'm getting the hang of it now. Oh my god. What happened there? Why did I put this into the design? I don't know. A big freehand circle. Oh, this is working. This is working. Oh crap, where's the, where's the pencil line gone? This looks good. This looks really good. That doesn't look good at all. What are you on about? Whoa, whoa. Stay on track. Stay on track. Whew. Oh yes, nice one. It's looking good, isn't it? It's looking really good. Whoops. Oh man, I went through the other. That's not good. These are supposed to be straight lines, you know. I could finish it there. So you know, it's beautiful. But I'm gonna carry on, do a bit of pointillism. I'm actually a bit worried about this, but I'm gonna destroy the pen. Yeah, let's, uh, let's put a bit of black. In there, a nice solid black. God, this is hard. Is this pen running out? Does it work all right? I don't know. It doesn't even work. This pen. Okay, let's abandon that pen. Let's try it with the Posca pen. I wonder if it really is activating my brain. Mi español está mejorando, or no? All right, let's do some dots in here. Don't want to ruin any of your pens because they're really hard to find here in Peru. Oops. All right, there we go. It's something, it's something. So far in this experiment, I wouldn't say that I feel any more intelligent. I'm not thinking in Spanish. En español es mejor, creo que sí. Pero no estoy seguro. Necesito dibujar más. Hmm. Voy a dibujar Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go with this picture of Schwarzy from Twins. I don't have the internet down here, and uh, it's the only picture I happen to have on me. Start with the eyes. The eyes are very important. Whoa, shading is really hard with your left hand. Oh yeah, those are Arnold's eyes. This isn't supposed to be realistic. Oh, seems to be going down that route. <laughs> oh man, he needs pupils, doesn't he? Now his soul is in the drawing. His nose looks really big in this photo. I don't think it's that big in real life, but it does look really big. <laughs> His mouth is also massive. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh. Put tiny lips. <laughs> you know what I love about Arnold? He's never had his teeth fixed. I don't think anyway. I never noticed. Because most most massive Hollywood movie stars, they end up getting their teeth fixed and they just look like mentalists. With like teeth brighter than the sun. This looks absolutely nothing like Arnold anymore. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where it's gone wrong. <laughs> oh God. He needs more of a square jaw. That's 
that's it. There we go. Man, this is hard. <laughs> Drawing hands is hard enough with your right hand. So let's see how this goes with my left hand. <laughs> the cord. All right. And now his hair. <laughs> the side part. <laughs> <laughs> it looks more like Tim Allen. <laughs> oh god, it's so bad. Okay, now I need to go over it with the ink. <laughs> Those are not Arnold's eyes. <laughs> oh my god. This is ridiculous. Now it doesn't even look like Tim Allen, it just looks like... Who does it look like? It looks like someone. It looks a bit like Ricardio from Adventure Time. Poor Arnold. Why am I doing this to him? <laughs> Why is the chin that shape there? <laughs> it's looking good. I mean, it doesn't look like Arnold at all. Don't know what that line is there. <laughs> oh, God. Well, there it is. Arnold Schwarzenegger. It looks nothing like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It looks like some guy that should be reading the news or something. There you go. Left-handed drawing to stimulate your brain. If you're having trouble learning a language, give it a go.